Warning, this video contains really, really great information. If you have a problem with people disseminating information, if you have a problem with my talking, if you have a problem with me dropping little heat rocks and jewels on you, do not watch this video, okay? It is a video of nothing but me dropping a little bit of knowledge and telling you guys where to get some really, really good information, all right? And if you want to hide information from the ignorant and the ill-informed, put it in a book. With that being said, on to the video. Greetings and salutations, Gary from the T-Shirt Help Desk here. And do I have a very special edition of the T-Shirt Help Desk show, episode, channel, whatever you wanna call this. Have I got something here? There's an old adage, some of you guys know it, some of you guys don't, okay? That is, a leader is a reader. Say that to you again. A leader is a reader, okay? Now, um, a successful business is just one small part of something that should be more important to you. That is a successful life. And success is a relative term, okay? It doesn't just mean business. It doesn't just mean money. You know what I'm saying? But success has to do with just living a fulfilled life and fulfilling the, your dreams, okay? Now, the most important asset that you have all right in this business or in any business or in life is guess what you okay your mind all right and there's a lot of things that can help you whip that bad boy into shape okay um we are born with special gifts all of us all of us are unique special people all right some of us have been where we want to go. And success, not only does it leave clues, but sometimes people who are successful will leave a road map, all right? They will put something in there. Now, I like to use the analogy of, uh, let's just say, an apprentice, whether you're a plumbing apprentice, tattoo apprentice, uh, stockbroking apprentice, whatever. You can go into any type of business, any type of skill, right? And you could have no training, no nobody, and simply learning. If you want to be a plumber, you could go around, go to everybody's house, look up everybody's toilet, go underneath, look up everybody's um, pipes, you know what I'm saying? You can go in the sewer system, everybody, you can go to sewer system. And over the course of 10, 20, 30 years, you can learn everything and be a really great plumber all right or you can study under a plumber for a year and learn all that stuff a year or two or learn a good amount of it okay learning from someone else can truly cut your learning curve all right and the most important asset that you have is you all right you make everything happen okay it's not your heat press all right it's not your screen printer all right it's not your uh, high powered computer, your MacBook Pro, whatever foolishness these people think is going to make them a better designer. Ain't Adobe Illustrator, it's not Corel Draw. It is none of those things, okay? It's not your website, it's not your web designer. It is you, all right? So, what I want to share with you are some information that I think everybody should have in their repertoire. And I'm going to share with you some books because the leader is a reader. Now, this video is going to be long, and I don't care. You know what I'm saying? You people, you can watch episodes of Scandal, and you can watch a damn football game on, all day on Sundays or whatever, but you don't want to sit down for 20 minutes or so to, uh, and, and watch a video of someone giving you information that could help you become a hot damn millionaire. Okay. So, I'm just going to, I got a whole bunch of books here, and I'm just going to go through a little bit at a time and uh, just, you know, break them down to you just a little bit. 
It's in no particular order, all right? And this one, I just wanna say. All right, can you see that? The Millionaire Next Door, all right? Excellent, excellent, excellent book. It teaches you about money and how, you know, it's not that big of a deal and how you can really, really get it, okay? All right, this is a book on Google AdWords. If you are going to have an internet-based business, you had better learn how to advertise via Google or you are going to be ass out. And a whole lot of people are out here and they come up with their stuff and they put it on the internet and they're just like, man, I ain't, I ain't getting no sales or I ain't getting no this. If you don't have traffic and if you don't put something up and you don't get people to that site, it doesn't matter how bomb your site is, how dope your clothing is, and people can't find it, okay, Google AdWords, an absolute must if you want to learn all right, how to do business, okay? This right here, I don't know if you can see this. This is a t-shirt collection design book, all right? Now in this book is t-shirts, I don't know if I can go through this, is t-shirt designs from all over the globe, different designs, different everything. You can come in here and just get inspiration. You should have tons and tons of stuff like this. All right, this is by Rockport. It's called uh, the T-shirt collection. Uh, the T-shirt, a collection of 500 designs. 1,000 garment graphics. I mean, you see, I've, I've had these books for years, okay? This stuff, I mean, I can't go through the entire, if you have a t-shirt business and you don't have stuff like this, you better go get some, all right? Look on the internet, you can get a lot of this stuff on Amazon.com, 1,000 graphic designs. Okay, you can get this stuff used on eBay. All right. Get this stuff, man. Successful marketing plans. Um, your designs is just one thing. And I go over this in the book. I go over the marketing in the book. It's called, um, the, 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 uh, the chapter is Marketing, the Holy Grail. You, a very, once you get the design done, that's just one little bit, okay? Most of your business is marketing, okay? And part of marketing is, of course, advertising. Google AdWords, you you have best to learn this stuff. A lot of people, they just want to make some designs, put something up, and think that all of a sudden everybody's going to run uh, and purchase your t-shirts. Mm, I don't think so, all right? A lot of work goes into this, baby. A lot of work goes into this. This is Susie Orman, Nine Steps to Financial Freedom. How are you going to start a business if you're like knee deep in debt? I mean, like seriously, you, you really want to start a business and go into more debt because it takes money to run the business. So get yourself out of debt and get right. You understand what I'm saying? And another reason you want to, part of the reason uh, that you want to start these t-shirt companies, of course you want to put stuff out there, but what you want to do is make money and live rich, okay? Great book by Barry Kay, Live Rich. You have to have stuff like this. You have to get your mind right, get yourself seasoned to get out there, all right? And have it, and, 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 and have it going on, okay? Excellent book right here. This one is called Ink and grow rich, all right? Now, in my book, I talk about LLCs, um, uh, uh, DBAs doing business as uh, S Corp and all this stuff, you know? I hit on that, but you, I mean, this is an entire book. I mean, my book is about starting a t-shirt. You need to get this so you can learn all of those crazy stuff, all of those tax breaks, all that stuff. Ink and grow rich, you can find this on eBay, it's a really detailed book. It's, it's really, you have to sit down. There's a lot of uh, legal jargon. 
Um, you really have to sit down and just um, absorb this book, but it's a great book. Once you get it, you'll understand the LLC, the C Corp, the S Corp. You, you'll really understand them all. Must have. This one is another book by Rockport. Now, I'm coming out with a book like this real soon. Okay, probably this summer. Okay, and what this is, is a book full of elements that you can use in t-shirts. They have skulls here. They got a whole section on skulls. They have a whole section on tattoo art. I mean, these things, if you have a t-shirt company and you're doing stuff, I mean, this book is worth its weight in gold. They have a whole thing. If you're doing Hawaiian tees, they got, and all this stuff, it comes with a CD. Hold on, right in the back of the book, there's a place, I've, I've, I've had this book for years, I've been had, there's a place, and it has a, a CD in it, and you put the CD, and you can get all the stuff in a uh, rational format and EPS. So definitely look for something like this. They have different ones, and definitely look up Rockport, okay? Look up Rockport. Go to their website. You know, oh, they have some great stuff. I know a lot of you guys do stuff on, on music. You can look back here and see, like, this is the turntables and the tape and, and uh, the boom boxes, all this stuff. This stuff, man, you get you actually you get the book, you actually get the CD to use the stuff uh, royalty free. Digital photography. If you, I don't know if you guys know, but like I have, you can't really see it, but I have lights set up, and when I shoot for, I have several websites, um, and when I shoot for my websites, a lot of the times I have to set that stuff up and use a camera and shoot that stuff. And if you want to look professional, you should. You know, take a photography course or get a book. Everything is in a book. There's all type of stuff. And uh, there's several ones that you can get online, uh, photography courses, and guess what? They're all in my book, okay? Uh, not all of them, but a few of them, you know, and even ones where you can shoot hot stuff on your iPhone. You don't even have to have a big DSLR. Excellent stuff. You have to, have to, have to learn how to shoot your stuff right, or you gonna, you, or you can just spend money on a photographer, you know? So it's up to you, okay? Now this one right here, a lot of people know about this book, all right? And I wanna say a few things about this book, okay? This is The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. This is an absolute must read, but there's a disclaimer. I just want to say that if you read this book and you think that this is the way to go about your life, you are an idiot. All right. This book should be called The 48 Laws of Being a Scumbag. There's a lot of dirty, nasty, disgusting things in this book. And it's really, to me, an evil, evil book. However, in business, people go by this. And you're gonna have to deal with people. You're gonna, when you get out here, you're gonna be meeting all type of people and people do not necessarily have your best interests at heart. And this whole entire world out here that we live in, unfortunately, is based upon deception. And there's a lot of the power of decep deception and misdirection. And you need to know that stuff. But you also need to know that those guys are doing it. And if you ever in anyone's home or office and you see this book, watch out okay but it's really a must read and it's a must have okay now i just want to say something you sh everyone who's in business should own this book i don't care what business you're in oh i don't know i'm going into t-shirts you're going into business business is business let me just tell you something there's another book that i've had that i've had for years you can even i'm gonna i'm gonna even put it in the description box now if you have this book you should absolutely get this next book all right and that book is right here, and this book is called The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace D. Wiles. It is an absolutely must-read, must-have. It's available in audio book. It's, it's, this book is so old, it's, it's, it's pretty much what a lot of people base things like The Secret and a lot of things on. And of course, this book, 
is based on old hermetic laws, the seven hermetic laws. Okay, that's all deep esoteric um, metaphysical stuff that you all should know. By the way, all of the billionaires on this planet practice universal law. Something you should know in hermeticism and all this stuff. A lot of things out here that is out here, and some people think it's hocus pocus, quackery, foolishness, but all of the rich, influential people know this stuff. Okay, the people that don't know it is you. So, the science of getting rich. Absolutely one of the most wonderful books on the planet. It is a must read. You must read. If you want to go with this type of stuff, with all the scumbaggery in it, you must get the science of getting rich. Okay? Words that sell. All right? When you put these things up and you have your e commerce and websites and this and this and that, you're going to have to write copy. If you want anybody to, you know, the, the, the t-shirts are not just clothing, they're expressions of oneself and you want to put stuff either on the t-shirts or on your websites or your signage or whatever or store or whatever to sell your t-shirts and this is an absolute must, must have words that sell and you can get all this stuff on Amazon.com. Um, also in my book, I talk about meeting people and when you're going to um, trade shows and no matter what, even if you know you don't sell anything, your first show, you're going to make contacts. You're going to make contacts, that business contacts that you can have from all over the globe, okay, and business contacts that you're going to have forever. And the thing about this is, in terms of these contacts, they're different people, different walks of life, and they're going to be. You may meet a screen printer. You may meet a person that does marketing. You may be the person that does websites. It's all type of things. You may be a, a, a person in public relations, okay? And this right here book is called Instant Rapport, okay? Instant Rapport, all right, um, by Michael Brooks, and this is how a way that you can instantly break some of those that that uh, what is it breaking the ice, and how you can you know just go back and forth with people and really have banter and it's really a great book and if you're going to be out of networking you should have something like this networking is a big huge part of doing business out here guys like anomics great book it's about the business of being likable and i also talk about this in my book is that the bottom line is that when all things are equal and they're going to figure out who they're going to give the contract to, uh, who they're going to, which line they're going to put in the store when they only have room for one more line or one more t-shirt or whatever, the bottom line is with everything on this planet, even who you decide to subscribe to, who you want to get your information from, the, 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 the doctor that you choose, the insurance company that you choose, whatever it is, you go with the person that you like. Now, you can like the scumbag. You could like the little old lady. You could like the nice guy. You could like the married guy. You could like the single gigolo or whatever. But the business of being likable, like anonymous. Excellent, excellent book. All right? This is a book I've had for years. And I, and I also have another book. I've got, I've got to talk about that. But this book is by, it's called Unlimited Power, A Black Choice. And, it, and it's by... Anthony Robbins, who is magnificent, and we'll talk about him in a minute, and by a brother by the name of Joseph McClendon III. Okay, now it's just an excellent book, and it's geared towards uh, um, African Americans. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of how can I put this? There's a lot of just there's a lot of things that we don't know, and we need to know. And uh, Anthony McClendon, re Joseph McClendon, I'm sorry. Jos Joseph McClendon really, really breaks a lot of things down. It's a really great book. Now, I want to talk about Anthony Robbins, okay? Anthony Robbins has, of course, personal power. He has the original personal power. Um, he also has another awesome book that you guys should read. Uh, called, and, and I, I have stuff at 
like the place where I grew up, house, I got stuff in other states, I got stuff that I let people borrow, I got a lot of books, so I'm just gonna put this stuff up here. He also has another book called Awaken the Giant Within. All right, excellent book. But he has a system, okay? And the system is the personal power system. This is a system that I did, oh my God, about, oh, about maybe 20, but 22, 20, 22 or 21 years ago, changed my life. So if you can get personal power by Anthony Robbins and do the entire system, do it. Also, a book that will change your life, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. That's one of the best selling books on the planet and there is a reason. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I mean, I, I don't even have to say anything about that book. You should own it, all right? This is an audio book. I have tons and tons of audio books. Uh, and this one is called Me Incorporated. And it's just about you being the CEO of your own life. Okay, Me Inc. You, an owner's manual. This is another audio, audio book. All right, excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, there's a book that I want to talk about. I don't have it here, and I'm trying to figure out. I've been looking all over for it, so I'm going to put it up here. This book is one of the greatest books ever written. Timothy Ferris put his foot, his ass, his nose, his everything into this book. The 4-Hour Work Week by Timothy Ferris. If you do not have this book, you need to get it will change, I mean, a lot of stuff, and I already knew I've been trying to live my life this forever, but it just puts so many things in perspective. The four hour work week, I cannot emphasize you guys, especially if you're getting on the internet and you wanna do this internet best business and sell t-shirts on the internet, you had bets to get this book, all right? I'm coming down to the end, and uh, I have so, so, so much. Oh, there's another one, okay. Um, this one right here is a book of text by a brother by the name of, oh, oh, had it upside down. Book of text by a brother by the name of, a dude by the name of BJ Betts. And he's a world renowned tattoo artist and he is known for doing scripts and fonts. And if you're into this business, man, you are this stuff right here these fonts and stuff, especially if you're gonna do original stuff and you have a lot of words, this book is worth its weight and go. You've seen a couple of my videos in which, you know, I make up fonts and all this stuff. I mean, a lot of this, a lot of this stuff is just, you just have to do it. And, you, and if you go to places like Karma Loop and Digital Gravel and places online, and you look at some of these t-shirts, you see a lot of original stuff. Uh, Volcom, uh, uh, Billabong, they, there's a lot of stuff that has fonts, original fonts and original scripts and layouts. And it is just, and a lot of this stuff, you can go, like I talk about the font.com, you can go and you can get fonts, but there is nothing like original, artistic, hand done, fonts and scroll my page came out I, I use this book heavily guys and I reference this book heavily okay you need stuff like this man and this is something that I want to um, talk about I have two books on this and it's this one is called clutter busting your life guys you will not understand how much you need to declutter your life a cluttered house a cluttered desk a cluttered anything is a cluttered mind and you'd be amazed and this is kind of feng shui which you should look up to feng shui but you'd be amazed how your surroundings okay will determine your thought not necessarily what you think but how clearly you think get rid of the clutter in your life there's so much other stuff that i have that oh i want to show you this so much other stuff that i have that really makes a difference this is, oh, there's another one. Where's 
Oh man, I want to show you this one. This is a little book, and the thing about it, you can't really read it. It's called Frank Lost Angel. This is a book by two of my most favorite people, Mr. Cartoon, who is a phenomenal, legendary tattoo artist, and Estefan Oreo, who is a phenomenal, legendary photographer. And when they get together, they make magic happen. And uh, the reason why I want, I want to show you this a little little parts of this book is because you have the combination of Estefan Oriol's absolutely phenomenal photography. Throw this stuff in here. Um, you know, which is really based on, you know, Los Angeles lifestyle. And shout out to LA. I love LA. Um, Los Angeles lifestyle and it's got ads in it and you also have the fonts and the workings of Mr. Cartoon. And what is, why is this important? The reason why stuff like this, you see this right here, the reason why stuff like this is because this is what can help you do your art direction for your website, okay? Your website is like, these, 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 um, these websites, um, are really the key to linking up with your core audience. They set the stage for who you are and what your brand is all about. A lot of times people just blah, 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 and throw some designs on some t-shirts and throw it out there. No, you have to connect with people. You have to um, say and, and speak to these people's lifestyle and say, this is what we are about and do it and then give it to them. And once you get it all together right, you get the right models, the right people who represent a lifestyle, um, the right um, look, okay, the right fonts. Everything that you do, you know what I'm saying, is reflective. This is like a, 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 a whole magazine. All this stuff that you do is reflective of an entire lifestyle. And if you've ever seen Mr. Cartoon, and Estefan Oreo, when they all get together, it definitely reflects that Los Angeles, um, Chicano, um, East LA kind of sort of beautiful, wonderful culture that they have out there in LA. And the art, um, the, 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 the look, the lowriders, everything, it projects an entire image and they put that lifestyle and they put it out there and the people, the people who connect to it can really connect to it and even people who are from a different place can think wow i like that and it's and it, it it has a brand authenticity to it so getting little books like this um can really help you come up with the look and the overall feel the production design of your website okay and your entire the look you know i hope this is making sense to you guys that's all i have from now remember guys a leader is a reader in your mind this thing right here okay it is the most important asset that you can possibly have not just in business but in life okay i mean it's gary um founder of the t-shirt help desk.com i wish you guys nothing but the best with your companies with everything and i know this video is long but i had to put it out there i had to give you all this information because you know uh and i'm gonna i'm gonna put a list or try to put a list of all the books that I have here, a few more um, in the description box. And let me make sure that there's, uh, that's it. And uh, I will talk to you all soon. Mwah! God bless you guys and cheers to your t-shirts. I'm out. And I want to talk to you guys about haters and non-believers. All right, this video is gonna be pretty short, but um, when you get out here and you, and you want to get into this business, and you want to come up with your t-shirts uh, or if you want to start anything you want to be a singer dancer actor uh, entrepreneur you know what I'm saying if you want to be anything besides the norm besides getting up when someone else wants you to get up going out here on this public transportation with these god-awful damn people these maniacs or driving on all this traffic with these maniacs, these road rages, all type of nuts out there. 
that if you want to do that and then go to a job and listen to some jerk dickhead of a boss tell you what to do all day, they think that that's the only way. And because their life sucks, they think that your life is supposed to suck. And who the hell are you to want something different? Who, who are you? Who are you? To, oh, you, mm, you gonna start a business? You know what I'm saying? And some of these people may be friends. Some of these people may be loved ones. Some of these people may be a spouse, a girlfriend, a wife, a boyfriend, a husband, a brother, a sister, maybe even your mama. 